गुरुर्ब्रह्मा गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात्ब्रह्म तस्म श्री गुरव नम तस्म श्री गुरव नम one of the problems the in the intelligent people suffer is they want to understand everything and the understanding is bound to be objective whenever objectivity is the foundation of understanding we go away from the truth because truth is a subject and therefore whenever an intelligent person studies the scriptures he tries to understand and objectify because this is how he has trained his mind <coughs> right from childhood like you know when we are taught that uh, one apple plus 1 apple is equal to 2 apples so the child gets lost in the apple not interested in 1 plus 1 with great difficulty he dropped the apple and then the second stage he is able to understand the concept of 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 this is called as a square this is called as tall this is called as a round this is called front this is called back this is left this is right these are all concepts and slowly slowly a person starts conceptualizing in the knowledge and the habit of conceptualization becomes so much that when he is told that you are the Uh, absolute reality so he also understands yes i am that absolute reality how is that reality what it looks like what is the taste of that reality how it can be understood can you please tell me something more about it and you will see you take any upanishad no where the truth is declared they talk about everything except the reality if you take for example the uh, thesis on devotion narad bhakti sutra in the whole of narad bhakti sutra no where a word is mentioned about the lord satu asmin param prem roopa amrita swarupa cha the devotion is the extreme love for that what is that it is never said you go to gain upanishad there the teacher flatly makes the student confused frustrated and disgusted and when the student says will you please tell me i am sorry i cannot tell you did i do wrong in coming to you sir yes you have done wrong absolutely merciless and then the teacher says however what my teacher told i'll tell you that and what your teacher told sir my teacher told the truth is other than the known and unknown but what the truth is that is never said so earlier the student has one doubt what is the truth now another doubt the truth is other than the known and unknown and thus he is again and again caught in only conceptualization and therefore it is very very essential that we are able to transcend this obstacle of objectivity the obstacle of cause and effect the obstacle of reason truth is not reasonable truth is beyond reason you cannot reason it out and therefore here the teacher takes up this theme in the 35th verse when he says 
यज्ञानोहम एवं यासी पांडव ये न भूतान्य शेषेन द्रक्षसी आत्मनि अथ मई सो वेन यू हैव गॉन टू द टीचर विथ ऑल ह्यूमिलिटी सरेंडर यू सर्व द टीचर एंड देन यू इंक्वायर एंड इफ द टीचर इज इन ए मूड टू टॉक टू यू ही मे टॉक ही मे नॉट टॉक वंस सीकर अप्रोच ए टीचर and he asked some questions sir i want to know about this after hearing the question the teacher kept quiet and then again after 5 minutes sir i think i have asked you some question will you please reply me again the teacher kept quiet and third time when he asked he said if you cannot understand my silence you will never understand my words it is the eloquence of silence which is the language which can take you nearer to the reality see everything in contradictions and uh, self cancellation and therefore the technique of discovering the truth is then we have to go to the teacher with all humility drop all your logic and reason when you drop logic and reason then you rise above the limitation of intellect and therefore the teacher says tan vidhi pranipatena pariprashnena sevaya upadekshanti te jnanam jnaninah tatva darshana now what happens once you know the truth then एवं पुनः मोहम न यास्यसी पांडव पांडव इज द वन हु हैज गॉन बियॉन्ड द लिमिटेशन ऑफ इंटेलेक्ट इफ यू सी मोर इंटेलिजेंट ए पर्सन इज ही डिस्कवर्स वेरियस वेज ऑफ बीइंग इंटेलिजेंटली मिजरेबल लेसर इंटेलिजेंट यू आर हैप्पीअर यू आर टेक द स्मॉल किड्स सो हैप्पी दे आर they don't bother about it and the grown up people they can't laugh because the problem is what is there to laugh logic you require logic to laugh you don't require logic to laugh if you can be silly then only you can be happy see one of the name of bhagwan ganesh is om vrat pataye namaha vratapati means he who is the chief of the uncultured see now once you know this then what will happen you will never never get confused in life what is our confusion today our confusion is like you know take arjuna's case our confusion is who i am at this moment and because of that arjuna started with this confusion friends all the problems are beginning from the basic problem and the basic problem is identity crisis the moment you have discovered correct identity you can never have any doubt about your duties and about the functioning in this world see how important it is take a simple example we are all here together at this moment my identity is i am a teacher and your identity is you are a student now if i forget my identity i will go left and right and will never be able to focus attention on what is to be taught and if you forget your identity you will realize kar kar Then somebody says, "Hey, what is that snore slowly?" <laughs> Think why somebody goes to sleep only because he is unable to hold on to the identity at that moment. Therefore, our problem is the identity crisis. How is the identity crisis? i am man i am woman i am rich i am poor i am papi i am maha papi i am punyatma 
I am a father, I am a mother. The other day who asked me about the son, somebody asked me, Swamiji, you tell me, what you would have done if your son was like that? I said, I never create problems, first of all. <laughs> and second thing, I don't invest on imaginary problems. I said, Mama, what you told me about your son, you have created the problem which is not there. And out of that non-existing problem, you have discovered a technique how to keep yourself busy worrying. We cannot live without an optimum level of worries. You must have seen those people who live on the uh, nearby railway tracks or nearby the highways. They develop a particular level of talking. They cannot talk below that particular level. Because right from childhood, they are listening and the tension is constant there. And if they are exposed to absolute silence, they get frightened. See? So, our crisis is as to who am I at this given moment. So, when that Amma asked me, Swamiji, see, he is like that. I said, Amma, will I tell you? In this world, everybody comes on his own. Everybody has to live his or her life. There is no proxy. Howsoever I may love you, I cannot say, darling, will you please take quinine on my behalf? I don't like it. You cannot. You have to take your medicine. You have to take your food. You have to go to sleep. In the same manner, every one of us have to live our life. First principle. Then what is my relationship? I said, your relationship. Listen, children are born through us, not to us. Because the life of an individual is dependent on what is the kind of software he has brought from the earlier life. What the parents provide to the children is only the hardware, the software the child brings. Then the name of the software is Prarabdha 2003, Prarabdha 1942. This is the software and it cannot be copied, it, is, it cannot be pirated and it is functioning only in one unique hardware. You can't fix it anywhere. This is how the life is. That means then I should not worry. I said, no, no, you worry. <laughs> Don't give up that quality of yours. You worry. But worry about something great. Don't waste your capacity. You have got this great talent of worrying. Wonderful. Now worry about God. Worry about Him. Poor God. How much he has to look after this terrible world? Why he has created this mess? You start worrying about him. When you start worrying about the infinite, you disappear and he becomes prominent in your life. And therefore, this is that knowledge which will take away all your confusions of life. If you are a software engineer. You are the most confused person in this world. You know these softies, I call them softies and hardies. Earlier there used to be no hard laurel and hardy. Now it is hardies and softies. <coughs> when the husband and wife they are softies, all the time sitting before the monitor and doing this means that all options, options, options. And when they come at home, again options. They don't live reality, they live optional life. An optional life is a virtual existence, not the real existence. The moment you discover yourself, thereafter there is no confusion. So if you are a great chartered accountant, that will never take away all your confusions. If you are a great doctor, that will never take away all your confusions. If you are a liar, lawyer I think, 
if you are a lawyer, it will never take away all your confusions. Isn't it? But if you have known yourself, then alone all your confusions will disappear. And what matters in life is this. Ultimately, what for we are living? All the time, tense, worry, frustration, fear, anger, jealousy, humility, uh, frustration and wanting to kill oneself, that is not life. Once we understand, then you will see your whole um, orientation of life will change. So, yajnatvana munar punar moham evam yasasi pandava. And what will be the freedom from this confusion? Freedom from confusion is yena bhutani asheshena drakshasi atmani atamahi. The result will be, you will be able to discover your self reflected in everybody. Please understand, this is a very subtle topic. We see so many children. And if that child is my child, what a difference it makes. When somebody else's child is talking nonsense, and we just shut up, don't make noise. Don't you understand? I am doing meditation with great difficulty. <laughs> and when I am working something seriously and my own useless child comes and start again, immediately I listen. I always remember one recently I met one Amma. That child was nonsense. I don't know what, nobody can understand what he was talking. I said, Amma, do you understand what this stupid fellow is talking? Samiji, I understand his language, you know. He is telling, Mommy, I love you. Where from that sentence will come? No child loves the mummy because mummy is the number one rapshasa. Whole life the children suffer because of this. But no, 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 no. My child is so sweet. Again, he will say something. Hey, hey, hey. Now, now tell me what he said. He said, I don't like Papa. Where from you? <laughs> see, when I see myself reflected in a child, even the foolishness is discovered as achievement. Is it not? Now, if you are able to see your self reflected in everybody, what will be your experience? You will be able to be at home loving, sacrificing without counting. This much I have given to the society, this much I have done to the world. Do we count as a mother right from childhood? Uh, uh, in the month of January, I have cleaned 398 times the dirty linens account. I have given milk so many times. I have given medicine so many times. And so many hours I was lalla being that useless fellow on my lap. We don't count that. Where there is love, all the problems disappear. Therefore, friends, it is that knowledge which gives you a vision by which you are able to see yourself reflected everywhere. Now, how it is? This is one example with the child. Take an example. The other day, I was in uh, some other country, probably Switzerland. And my host was a Swiss girl. So, she was taking me around, showing the things. And I was fed up of eating, you know, that pizza and sandwich morning, sandwich lunch, sandwich dinner. And she doesn't know any cooking, no other thing available. So when we are moving, we happened to see one Indian shop. So I said, hey, let's go there. And when I went there, it was a Malayali Christian shop. And when I went, I said, Amma, how are you? You seem to be a Malayali, but not from Kerala. Are you from Bombay, Matunga? Swamiji, so, how do you know? I said, forget about it. Are you there? Yes. I said, very good. Now my work is done. <laughs> <laughs> and what was the work? 
I said, Amma, uh, I am fed up of eating these rubbish, you know, sandwiches everywhere. Is there any good restaurant I can have good food? Swamiji, I sell Indian food. You please sit and I will give you good food. Brahmanandam paramasukadam evadam jnanamurtim. And after I took nice meal and then I said, Amma, how much I have to pay? Please tell me. Swamiji, this is my offering to you. Please accept. She doesn't have to be my devotee. She doesn't have to be a Hindu. The moment she has seen someone of my kind, immediately all the equations become flat. See? Therefore, when you are able to see yourself reflected in the world, all your problems get dissolved. So, yena bhutani asheshena drakshasi atmani. You will be able to see by this knowledge everybody in you and yourself reflected in everybody. These are two approaches. One is the analytical, other is the synthesis. So in everybody, I see myself reflected. The second approach is that everybody is in me. When everybody is in me, means what? Like, you know, the lungs are in me, the stomach is in me, the small intestines are in me, large intestines are in me, then the liver are also probably may be in me. Now, not only that, the contents, and the contents need not be very good. You may put very good contents from this end, but as you come to the other end, is all garbage. But that is also me. And as a result, there is no grana, there is no hatred, there is no feeling of disgust. So these are two things. When you say yourself reflected in everybody, your love is natural. And when you include everything and being in you, you do not have hatred in your heart. There cannot be any higher achievement in life than this. To love and to be loved is the fulfillment of human existence. It doesn't matter what you have. What matters is how you are with what you have. Otherwise, all the comforts and luxuries of the life are around. And we are comfortably, luxuriously miserable. What is the use of that? This is that great knowledge. No, see, actually, Swamiji, what you are telling is okay for some people. You don't know me. I am doctorate in all the sins of the world. Even for a sinner like me, our Bhagavad Gita tells, we want sinners. Vacancy for sinners. They are not condemned to hell eternally. And this is what he says, Api chedasi pape bhya sarve bhya pap kruttamaha sarvam jnana plave naiva vrijanam santarishasi. If you are holding a doctorate in committing all the sins, sarve bhya pape bhya pap kruttamaha asi. This is the superlative degree. Like good, better, best. Super learning degree. So what are the sins? Normal sins we understand are actually not sins. It is foolishness. Like you know, I have cheated somebody. Oh, it is a committed a sin. I went before the Lord and did not do namaskar to the Lord. It is a sin. While taking food, I became angry and threw the thali. It is a sin. So this is the sins we understand. But this is not great sin. The real sin is what? First sin. 
not knowing who you are is the first sin second sin having doubt about yourself if you don't know you are doesn't matter like in deep sleep we don't know what we are so the first sin not knowing ourselves second sin having doubt about ourselves and a person he who has a doubt he can never proceed in life one example they tell you about the doubt one young boy i met somewhere in other country and his mother he also came and he presented me a problem people don't present us anything except problems and the problem is swami ji i don't know the mother watch mother said i don't know swami ji my son is so good and he has uh, no, no bad habits and he goes along with some girl maybe for a year or two and when the question of marriage comes sorry again it breaks this has happened three times four times i do not know and he doesn't tell anything because i don't know what is happening i said all right let me see if i can talk to you and one day he took me for driving crazy and when we went and he took out the topic so i mean this is what happens i said hey look here i am going to ask you blunt questions are you ready to listen he said yes then i asked what is your age he said i am 28 very good do you have doubt about your capability of being husband swami ji as i asked straight me tell me yes or no um swami ji i said did you have any affair with any girl where you had all the relations pre marital swami ji i never had i promise i said don't promise me don't be goody goody tell me the truth then he said swami ji you are right i am always having that problem in my mind after i get married will i be able to live as a husband or not and the result is i try to develop the relation a particular point comes and then again the fear creeps in my mind i think i cannot see if you have doubt in your life you cannot live and doubtful existence is the most miserable existence second sin in life so the first sin first degree second degree sin the third degree sin technically it is called as viparraya viparraya means we are something but we think we are something no what we are we are satchidananda para brahma paramatma we have never experience our birth we have never experience our growth we have never experience our death we have never experience our absence we have never experience our self to be inert we have never hated ourselves and therefore we are satchidananda that we discard and we start imagining i am born i am growing i am old and i am going to die this is called as contrary identity you are something but you think you are something this is the highest sin in valmiki ramayan this thought comes there the sin is defined the sin is anyatha santamatmanam anyatha pratipadyate kim tena na krutam papam chorena atma apahana we are something else but we think we are something else this wrong identity is the highest sin see how important it is it is something like you know i mistake some lady as my wife then it will be the terrible thing if this is a simple thing is a terrible thing now i mistake this wretched body to be me and for this sinful act 
there is only one solution discover your correct identity this is what the teacher says api chedasi pape bhya sarve bhya pape kruttamaha all our spiritual practice is only for one thing discarding your wrong identity we imagine ourselves to the gross body we imagine ourselves to be this functional physiological existence we imagine ourselves to be a mental personality we consider ourselves to be the intellectual giants or crooks we consider ourselves to be ignorant or wise the truth is these are all the conditionings all of them are supported by something which is beyond the influence of all these things that is our real identity unless that is discovered kurupe ganga sagar gamanam urat palipalanam athava dalam ज्ञान विहीन सर्व मतेन भजति न मुक्तिम जन्म शतेन यू गो टू द टेम्पल यू हिट युअर हेड इफ यू डोंट हैव कोकोनट नथिंग विल हैपन यू हैव टू डिस्कवर युअर करेक्ट आइडेंटिटी एंड वंस यू हैव डिस्कवर युअर करेक्ट आइडेंटिटी देयर आफ्टर लिव जॉयफुली एवरी मोमेंट ऑफ युअर लाइफ बिकॉज यू आर नॉट लिविंग टू गेट समथिंग फ्रॉम द लाइफ यू आर एक्सप्रेसिंग द डिस्कवर्ड ब्लिस थ्रू एवरी एक्शन ऑफ युअर्स दैट इज द रियल फुलफिलमेंट ऑफ लाइफ देर फॉर अति चेतसी पापे सर्वे पाप उत्तम सर्व ज्ञान प्लवे नव वृजनम संतरी सो बाय दिस प्लव प्लव मीन्स द प्लेन the same uh, root plane of flower so uh, when you are going through the waters you go by a boat and you cross over all the distances in the same manner all the problems born out of relativity they can be surpassed santarishasi going beyond them for good never to again fall back this is something great please understand if you are going to the doctor because you have eaten and developed a round figure many people believe in round figure isn't it why only have 79 rupees let us spend 100 rupees no in accounts also they round up the figure so many people have got a round figure then they will go to the doctor and the doctor will say you will do this thing and pay me this thing so those who start losing their weight after consulting the doctor is because they have paid and then they stop eating now if you do that maybe for a month or two or three you will reduce very beautifully and after that again if you take the revenge of the three months again you will bloat so you have to again practice it friends once you discover your correct identity once thereafter you don't have to practice it this is the beauty even you take simple not knowledge or experiences you learn uh, let us take you know riding on a bicycle after that don't ride for next 50 years yet you will not forget or you learn swimming and don't swim for next 30 40 years and then jump into the water you will start swimming you don't require practice in the same manner once you discover yourself thereafter vrijinam santarishasi all your doubts confusion identity what is the purpose of our life why we should be good to the people why the people are bad why everybody is not goody goody why god has created so many criminals why there are volcanoes and why there are wars why this fellow is attacking that fellow attacking constantly why 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 and thus while away the time okay <laughs> one day one person came and asked minister swami ji you tell me why god has created why it is a dozen question i kept quiet he said why don't you reply i said why should i reply 
हर सवाल का जवाब ही सवाल हो एक सवाल तुम करो एक असी करांगे देर फोर सर्व ज्ञान प्लवे नहीं वो वृजिनम संतरी शसी वाय 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 बिकॉज का इज हाय नाउ हाउ दिस नॉलेज ऑफ सेल्फ चेंजेस अवर टोटल लाइफ ही गिव्स एन एग्जाम्पल यथाई धाम सी समिधोग्नि ही भस्म सात कुरुते रजुना ज्ञानाग्नि सर्व कर्माणि भस्म सात कुरुते तथा लाइक व्हेन यू पुट एनी काइंड ऑफ फ्यूल इन द फायर व्हेदर इट इज अ गार्बेज व्हेदर इट इज अ चंदन लकड़ी एज वी ऑफर इन द हवन कुंड or it is the left over anything you put in the fire it is all equalized into one ash in the same manner all kinds of karma that you have accumulated because of studying and listening to satsang please understand yesterday i told you i don't believe in karma theory don't get caught up into that karma theory is an opium given to those who ask unwanted questions if we have something today it is not the result of our karma but it is the grace of the lord once you take all the plus and minus points of your life as a divine grace you have already graduated from the first sin सो यथे धांसी समिधोग्नि भस्म साथ को रुपये जुना सो वी गेट आउट ऑफ दैट द सेकंड थिंग कम्स देन व्हाट शुड बी द लाइफ स्टाइल लाइफ स्टाइल लाइफ स्टाइल इज दैट ऑफ द डिवोशन सो व्हेन यू आर डिवोटेड टू द लॉर्ड यू हैव नो क्वेश्चंस सी हाउ सिंपल इट इज द मोमेंट योर क्वेश्चन स्टॉप्स यू हैव ट्रांसेंडेड द बैरियर ऑफ लॉजिक and when you have no logic you are already one with you all the problems come because of the logic so any kind of uh, sin that we have conducted will be totally burned so which is the sin that we collect in the satsang agami karma prarabdha karma sanchita karma karmo ko maro gul कर्म विर्म कुछ नहीं होता इट इज ऑल द डिवाइन विल हिज गेम इज कृष्ण लीला राम लीला इज गोइंग ऑन एंड यू आर हनुमान जी और सीता जी रावण और राम वॉट एवर रोल इज गिवन टू यू यू प्ले ब्यूटिफुली एंड एंजॉय यूर लाइफ डोंट बिकम सीरियस आई ऑलवेज रिमेंबर माई फर्स्ट एक्सपीरियंस इन उल्टा प्रदेश UP is Uttar Pradesh. So this was in early 60s. I had gone there. I had never gone before that, and I was very fascinated by this Ram Lila. So after I saw that Ram Lila, I don't know why. I said, "Hey, I want to go behind and see what is that." Probably that is the reason the Lord has put me in this path. Go behind. How I am able to see? Go behind the eyes. how am i able to hear go behind the ear how am i able to talk go behind the words so i went behind the stage and i wanted to see those people who put on various customs and so many thousands of people is in the open air only their particular portion is covered so i went in said aha i can't forget that joyful experience hanuman ji took out bidi <laughs> and asked sita hey sita uh, machi sai kya <laughs> and hanuman ji put the bidi at sita ke and lit <laughs> and when they come again on the stage sita maiya <laughs> that time he doesn't say machi sai kya no <laughs> in the same manner friends take this world as his drama going on don't become unnecessarily serious yathai dagni samiddhogni 
ज्ञानाग्नि सर्व कर्माणि भस्मसात रूपे तथा देर फॉर योर प्रारब्ध कर्म आगामी कर्म संचित कर्म विल डिसअपियर इंस्टंटेनियसली द मोमेंट यू डिसअपियर when a criminal was caught all around and the police announced mr abdul amir you are surrounded by the police better come out surrender so he was incident open and then they heard some sound bang and they opened the door and found he has killed himself now what case will be registered under who and for whom against whom so what will be the remark on that file criminal deceased file closed all your sanchita karma prarabdha karma agami karma will disappear the moment is i i i disappears the i can disappear only when you have discovered who is the real i see therefore bhasma saat krute tatha jnana agni sarva karmani the moment you discover your right identity there is no karma done by you in the past so simple it is and therefore nahi jnane na sadrusham pavitram yah vidyate तत् स्वयं योग संसिद्ध कालेनाथ नथिंग मोर प्यूरीफाइंग दैन द फायर ऑफ नॉलेज बिकॉज ऑल द प्रॉब्लम बिगिन विथ द डर्ट ऑफ इग्नरस डर्ट ऑफ इग्नरस इज फर्स्ट लैक ऑफ करेक्ट आइडेंटिटी सेकेंड ही इज कन्फ्यूज एक्सिस्टन्स थर्ड the perverted upside down understanding about ourselves therefore all these things can be destroyed only by the fire of knowledge and therefore jnanena sadrusham na pavitram yah vidyate there is nothing more purifying see the word pavitra means protective like you know we are got in medicine prophylactic doses so what is prophylaxis when before the disease comes in anticipation you take the medicine or the injections or the vaccines and you are thereafter protected from the attack of those viruses in the same manner pavitram means what the one which protects you from the worst calamity of life that is the meaning of pavitra pavitra doesn't mean see i am extremely pavitra don't touch me that is foolish there is not pavitra don't touch the left hand don't touch the right hand they should have start directly with the mouth or what don't touch the left hand i remember once i went to pindor in one baba ji ashram and there was one fellow with me and i said look here we are going to that baba ji and that baba ji is very orthodox and a different type so don't behave the way you behave with me you sit with me talk to me it makes no difference but even you go there you have to do all the natak properly and i do not know what is going to happen so you simply follow intelligently and do accordingly what is to be done we sat for taking food so when i saw other people have removed the upper clothes lower were thank god still there <laughs> so i had to also i then i removed my upper clothes and the person who was with me punjabi Swami ji, when you are, you should thank God. Remove only the upper one. I said, I said, don't sit. This said, this is only Baba ji sitting. Baba ji's are untouchables, and you should sit that side because you are a gross. I said, simply watch. I also do not know. For us, we were given the food in the wooden plates. I said, we are extremely modern. Only wooden the uh, uh, sitting, uh, you know that that uh, top. wooden um, plate and everything wooden wooden i said you know this is the matching style and then i said now simply watch and take food now they were putting the food in from the distance as if we are giving to some beggars and we don't care because the interest is food why right? how does it matter how somebody gives you you don't look at that look at the food 
So, when that person came to give food, my dear Punjabi friend, he instead of allowing that chapati to be thrown in his uh, plate, he took it from the hand. <laughs> And there was a war between India and Pakistan. <laughs> Such a terrible chaos. Sab abavitra kar diya. Swami ji, kahan se kabut roko le aate ho? See, pavitra means that which takes away all fears of your life. We all suffer. Not because of death. We suffer because of fear of death. On the contrary, death is the only thing in our life which we do and because of that others suffer. Isn't it? There is only one action for which the karma for it doesn't come to us. It goes to the others who are attending. I don't know, he has to die the wrong thing. So, pavitra means freedom from the worst problem that is fear. So, nahi jnane na sadrusham pavitra mi havidyate tat svayam yoga samsiddhaha kale na atma nivindati. Now, where from how this knowledge will be gained by me? Now, the teacher says, yoga samsiddhaha. What is the yoga samsiddhaha? First, if you are identified with the body, nothing wrong. But then, Follow the rules of the game. What are the rules of the game? All the scriptural injunctions. If you are a Brahmachari, Grastha, Vanaprastha, Sanyasi, if you are a Brahmana, Kshatriya, Vaishya, Shudra, whatever is your role to be played as a husband, as a wife, as a daughter, as a in-law, as a outlaw, you play those roles with the proper rules and regulations. When you do that, your mind starts becoming purer and purer. Second thing, when your mind starts becoming purer, second thing is required is that mind should be available to you. So what is to be done? Then the second step is take up to some upasana, worship of the Lord. And when you take up the upasana, worship of the Lord, slowly you become pure and single-pointed. When your mind is pure and single-pointed, then alone that mind is available for applying into the inquiry about your own identity. And then you will be revealed your own identity. That is the meaning of Yoga Samsiddha. Therefore, don't imagine that, you know, as the other day I was telling you, if you want to be a very good doctor, you don't have to be a very good person. No need. If you have to be a very good lawyer, you need not be a very good person. If you have to be a politician, you should not be a very good person. <laughs> the difference, you know, need or should. Therefore, if we take up the same um, rod of measurement on this path, no. You have to be in and out the same thing. There cannot be two personalities. And this is what is called a Yoga Samsiddhaha. So when Kalina Atmani Vindati, when we slowly practice this thing, a right time will come and the truth will be revealed to you. Many people have got this uh, funny notion. Swamiji, how many days we have to do Japa? Swamiji, how many days we have to do our Kartavya Karma? What reply can you give? One old uh, Amma came and asked, Swamiji, you people tell us you should uh, give sanskar to our children and teach them. Uh, how many days this Kartavya Karma? I said, Amma, till you die or I die. I said, don't say that, don't say that. Why should you die? I said, then when I die, that, is, that question will not come to me. It will remain with you. As long as you have this sense that you are an individual, you have to keep on doing the things. 
देर फोर योग दिस इज वन ऑफ द हाइएस्ट अटेंशन टू बी गिवन बाय एवरी सीकर हाउ मेनी ऑफ एस सिंसियरली डोंट टेल एनी बडी वॉच विद इन यूर सेल्फ हाउ मेनी ऑफ एस हैव प्रेड बिफोर द गॉड ओ लॉर्ड मेक माई माइंड सो प्योर so that you can arrive of your own tell me your prayers we have taken for granted oh ho oh, i am the most pure i am very nice person i don't like i think i have no ego i almost given the whole of ego see unless we have purified inside the lord will not descend at all तो योग कालेन कालेन मीन्स डोंट वरी अबाउट इट वी शुड हैव द अर्जेंसी बट नॉट द एंगजाइटी वेन यू हैव द अर्जेंसी युअर इन्वॉल्वमेंट विल बी कंप्लीट इट विल नॉट बी हाफ हार्टेड लाइफ स्टाइल दिस इज वन ऑफ द रीजन वाई मेनी पीपल सफर ऑन द सीट ऑफ मेडिटेशन बिकॉज दे हैव नेवर ट्रेन देम सेल्व टू बी फुल्ली इन्वॉल्व इन वॉट एवर दे डू ऑलवेज हाफ हार्टेडली नेवर होल हार्टेडली और मे बी ऑलवेज होल हार्टेडली इज पॉसिबल वंस यू लर्न दैट टेक्निक वॉट एवर यू डू यू गेट सो मच लॉस्ट इन दैट whether it is taking food whether it is reading a newspaper whether it is watching the tv we have to develop that faculty that we become so one with whatever we are interacting with that faculty you will take zero time to sit and switch off now the problem is we have never trained ourselves that is why they said lead you are like sincerely sincerity is make yourself available whatever you do it sincerely and completely he who has this faculty when such a person talks to you he directly touches your heart when an erudite scholar talks to you he tickles your intellect but cannot touch your heart because he is not one with the theme what he is talking is something else and therefore yoga samsiddha kalena atmani vindati so the right time will come and it will happen don't worry about this you know mahatma tell stories there were two devotees and uh, they were doing their uh, japa sadhana tapasya and narad ji was going and narad ji said hey i am going to narayana any message so first one said uh, please tell narayana ask narayana how much time i have to continue to do sadhana then i will have his darshan okay second you tell ask about me also the same thing and narad ji comes back and tells the first person because for second while coming it is the reverse order second first so he tells the second person look here i went and talked to narayana about you what did he say he said you will require at least 10 more lives to come to me if you continue your sadhana with the same tempo and spirit i got 10 more lives he said i don't know i am just communicating i am only an email so then the second person that be the first person he was asking uh, narad ji maharaj what the lord said he said tell that man as many leaves are on that tree below which he is doing his sadhana those many million lives he has to go through when this was known the second person started dancing hey so narad ji was surprised say you are peculiar fellow the other fellow has to go only 10 lives and he was crying and when you are told so many millions of lives you have to go through and you are not uh, miserable you are happy he said i am happy because i am in the list of the lord what more i want very very important 
the Lord is always aware of us. It is we who don't recognize his grace. The moment we recognize his grace, the time factor disappears. Do we say to our beloved, Hey, kab tak pyaar kar raha hai? Bada. No. Love has no barrier of time. The mother doesn't ask a child, Beta, uh, become grown up quickly so that I can stop loving you. No. It has no end. Therefore, Kale na Atmani Vindati, don't worry about it. You keep on practicing your spiritual life. If no, fortunately we are Hindus. If not, this life, next life. Jaldi kahe ki. Time pass karo, lead cheerfully and happily. Now the question is, the problem is, either we should understand, if we don't understand, never mind. You believe in somebody. We neither understand nor want to believe in anybody. Such a person is creating his own graveyard. This is what the teacher says. Shraddhavan labhate jnanam tatparaha sayyate indriyaha jnanam labdha param shantim achirenadi gachati. So who gets this knowledge? First statement. Shraddhavan labhate jnanam buddhiman kadapina labhate. What is Shraddha? There are many people who are allergic to this word Shraddha. And there is one group also, they say, Andha Shraddha Unmulan Samiti. Because they have not understood the word. Shraddha is that inner strength which operates and makes you functional in the area of ignorance. That is what is called as Shraddha. Like, when we start from home, are we knowing what is going to happen on the road? We don't know. And every day so many accidents happen. So many things happen. But when we leave, that time we start only with this faith. I am going to reach the destination intact. Isn't it? If a person has a doubt, like the other day I was going to some other country, Australia, and when I was checking in, not all these seats were recently after that, you know, 9-11 episode in USA. So, when that, uh, you know, hardly 60-70 passengers, so one person asked me, uh, you are also going? I said, yes. He said, no, but there are hardly few passengers. There may be something wrong, you know, because the terrorism is happening everywhere. I said, I am happy when I am going and it is blown away. What will happen, you know? We will have a company after death to go together. Normally, we die alone. And when you die alone, you have to find out what a company koi milta hai kya. Don't worry. Go together. He said, how can you be so reckless? I said, look here. If you have faith in him, only that thing will happen what is required for your growth. See? When a cloth is put into the washing machine, it is not for torturing to the cloth. When the mother puts or the lady puts the cloth or the jades, as the case may be, equal rights. So when he puts the clothes in the washing machine, that time, it is not, now dekho, dekho, now I am going to torture you, torture you, you know. You became dirty, now suffer hot water and detergent and high speed revolutions and not only one way, ooh, 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 machaya. No, it is for purification so that I can reuse that cloth in the same manner. If you have that faith in your heart, no experience of your life will make you think negative. And once you stop thinking negative, positive thinking will give you positive results. Management slogan, isn't it? <laughs> Therefore, Shraddhavan Labhate Jnanam. Doesn't matter if we don't understand, never mind. 
बट दो अंडरस्टैंड एटलीस्ट लिसन टू देम श्रद्धावान लगते ज्ञानम देन सेकेंड थिंग आई है गॉट लॉर्ड ऑफ श्रद्धा भगवान ठीक करेगा डोंट डू दैट श्रद्धा डज नॉट मीन लेजीनेस सी हाउ ब्यूटिफुल द टीचर इज प्रोटेक्टिंग अस फ्रॉम गोइंग द रॉन्ग वे श्रद्धा डजेंट मीन दैट द लॉर्ड इज टेकिंग केयर ऑफ मी वाई शुड आई वरी ही विल गिव यू ओनली फूड नो प्रोग्रेस फॉर दैट यू हैव टू वर्क हार्ड तो श्रद्धावान लगते ज्ञानम देन तत्पर सेकेंड थिंग इज तत्पर आर यू एवर रेडी तत्पर मीन्स एवर चेयरफुल डायनामिक इंस्पायर्ड टू वॉक द स्पिरिचुअल पाथ प्लीज रिमेम्बर स्पिरिचुअल पाथ इज नॉट फॉर द ड्रॉप आउट ऑफ लाइफ सेकेंड थिंग स्पिरिचुअल पाथ डज नॉट मीन बिकमिंग ए बाबाजी Please protect us. If you all will become Baba Ji, where will I go? Don't take away our market. So spiritual path walking means lead an inspired life and with total dedication to the cause. That paraha. Third, sahiyate indriya. Unless you have the capacity. Your inspiration without capacity becomes a calamity. If you have a terrible inspiration but no capacity, you will fall. Because only inspiration without capacity is important. It cannot help you. Therefore, three things. One thing is shraddha. Shraddha in what? Shraddha in yourself first. Second thing in the teachers, the saints and the sages. Third in the scriptures which are giving you the guidance, and fourth in the design of the divine. When you have faith in that, with that armor with you, you jump into the darkness of your future and go ahead. One of the most important principle of spiritual life is you should not have security at all. Lesser the security you have, more you are dedicated to the Lord. With security, you can never reach the reality. Therefore, Shraddhavan Lavate Jnanam, second Tatparaha, third Sayyate Indriya, so that you can develop that faculty, have full control on yourself. Senses, the mind, the intellect has to be completely controlled. And such a person, Jnanam Labdha Param Shantim, he who has thus discovered his own identity correctly, how it is reflected? Param Shantim. Param Shantim doesn't mean all the time the face is hanging. What happened? Realize correctly. Parashanti does not mean you tie some belt to your mouth and now I am Mauli Baba. I don't talk. Why Parashanti? Understand. One is Ashanti. Second is Shanti. And third is Parashanti. Parashanti is not opposed to Ashanti. I'll tell you an example about Parashanti. Somewhere something went wrong in one of the functions. After all that was over, then one of the organizers asked me, Swamiji, what is the secret that you don't get angry, agitated, disturbed when all this commotion was happening? I said, you know, I am abnormal. What can I do? He said, how you are abnormal? I said, you know, my likings are very peculiar. I like chaos. I like confusion. I like Ashanti. Once you start liking that, it is easily available. You can never be miserable. See? Our problem is, we expect others should be disciplined. See, today I was a little late. So, I didn't say anything when I came late. Why should I justify? 
But why you shouldn't justify? You should have come on time. Okay, listen. Every day, some of you come one minute, two minute, three minute late, isn't it? Today I have taken a total of it and came ten minutes late. But la chuka hai. Look here. Once you understand parashanti means you are undisturbed in spite of the world around you. The moment you give importance to this, all your spiritual practice is done. See how simple it is. Swami Akhandaji Maharaj used to say, absence of desire is shanti. Absence of anger is shanti. Absence of jealousy is shanti. Absence of confusion is shanti. See? When all these diseases are totally absent and yet it is not an absence. It is not like, you know, the absence of light is darkness. So, Shanti is not Abhavatmak. It is Bhavatmak. It is your experience. <laughs> like sometimes, you know, when your AC or something go on, ooh, ooh, slowly, slowly we develop that sound in our mind. And suppose something happens, the electricity fails. Suddenly, when it goes off, ah, so that is Shanti Ashanti. But when nothing in this world disturbs you, then alone you have become one with the total world. Like the water is not disturbed by the ocean. And the same water is not disturbed by the waves. How? The water is not afraid of ocean that it may be drowning. Nor the water is afraid when the wave breaks, what will happen to me? Because from the water's point of view, there is nothing except itself. In the same manner, once you discover your correct identity, then you come to know that all are in me, but I am not in them. In reality, nothing is except me. The moment this knowledge takes place, Param Shanti, absolute happiness regains. And those who are contrary, Adnyascha, Ashraddha, Dhanascha, Samshayatma, Vinashati. So if we neither have faith nor we have understanding, such a confused entity is destined for destruction. Samshayatma, Vinashati. And for such a doubtful person, Nayam Lokosti Naparaha, Na Sukham Samshayatmana. For such a doubtful person, neither he can be happy in this life nor hereafter. Therefore, life has to be free from doubt. Doubt about what? Doubt about what the world is. Doubt about who am I? Doubt about who the God is? How the Jiva, Jagat, Ishwara, Matt is continuously going on? And what is the ground on which this match of one team is the Jiva team, other is the Jagat team, and Ishwara is the umpire? And the ground on which the whole thing is going on. Only these four factors are clear in our understanding. We will keep on suffering, suffering, suffering. <laughs> so, therefore, the last two verses are meant for Arjuna. Yoga sanyasta karmanam. With proper understanding, function dynamically. But don't be the doer of any action. Let the actions manifest through you. Yoga Sanyasta Karmanam Jnana Satchinna Samshayam Let there be no doubt about anything in your mind and for such a person Atma Vantam Now he is established in his correct identity For such a person Karmani Na Nivadnati He Dhananjaya For such a person Nothing can ever bind him <coughs> Bhagavan says Sarvatha Vartamanopi Sayogi Mai Vartate and therefore, last verse, Tasmat Atnyana Sambhudam, Ristam Jnana Sinatmanaha, Chitvainam Samshayam Yogam, Adishto Dishtabharata. Therefore, Arjun, by the sharp a sword of knowledge, destroy the wrong notions about yourself. Destroy the wrong notions about the world. Destroy the wrong notions about the God. 
and liberate yourself from the self-created imprisonment. And for that, arise, awake, and stop not till the goal is reached. With this, we conclude this session. Om Purnamadaha Purnamidam Purnat Purnamudachate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vashishate Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Sri Guru Pyo Namaha Hari Om